Hello fellow humans and welcome to the Madhouse. I'm Josh and today I'm going to be answering random questions. These aren't just questions I thought of off the top of my head. I asked you to give me two random numbers in yesterday's video and I will answer the appropriate questions because I have no idea where they came from but they're fun questions anyway so why not? Nomi has asked 14 and 26. Now, um, there's going to Germany and I haven't gone because of money problems. I am terrible at saving because I buy books all the time. Can't help it. Well, I probably could help it, I just don't. Or my other dream, probably getting to a healthy weight. And the reason I haven't done that is because I'm a lazy fucker. I'm perfectly capable of doing the healthy meals and I do that. But I don't exercise anywhere nearly as much as I should. This one. It is grey, it's rubber, and you press the button and nothing happened, um, and it comes up in red LEDs, because I found it helpful. It was free, so I don't care if it's that pretty, it worked. My friend Beth Tyree at Soul Saint Inc. has said numbers 13 and 27, so let's see what they are. What was the last sporting event you watched? The men's 10 metre diving in the 2016 Olympics, because I have a massive crush on Tom Daly. Big. Hot snakes, spiders, and where several of my friends live. Effie Creighton has asked for questions 6 and 21, so let's see what they are. Um, I don't really know, because while I'm absolutely terrified of Alzheimer's and dementia, and that's a very real possibility for me, because it's something my family is quite prone to, I also think I'd really like to avoid a lot of the major health problems that come at age 70 and things like that. So it's a toss-up, I'm probably going to save mine, because I can work to keep my body fit if I want to, whereas there's not so much you can do to stop the onset of Alzheimer's. What roles? <laughs> I mean, yes, my parents and my family love me, but I have been single for far too long, and yay, isn't it fun? I feel very lonely. More so this year than I have in previous Christmases, and I don't know why. I mean, I'm only 20, and I don't have what people would call a nesting instinct, so it's not that. It's just, ah, oh, quite fancy a boyfriend. Iram on YouTube, hello Iram, has asked for questions 2 and 5. Well, obviously I'd like to be famous for being the Supreme Lord High Chancellor of Earth and Overlord of Humanity, but I'd settle for being a successful author. I don't have to be at J.K. Rowling or Terry Pratchett's level, but I'd love to have some slight name recognition, perhaps, just, Oh, I, I read your book, that was very good, thank you for doing it. And then people move on with their lives and haven't changed it significantly. Just, oh, you have not been a complete failure. That'd be nice to hear. Last night, to um, a few songs from the soundtrack of Moana on the way back from the Status Quo concert I went to, because I'm currently obsessed with the soundtrack to Moana. I need to go and see this. In particular, it would be You're Welcome, because it's just so fun. My friend Leanne from Living in the Netherlands has asked for questions 8 and 22. There aren't too many that I eat, so I'm not a big fan of ice cream in general, but I absolutely adore Ben and Jerry's Caramel Sutra with the caramel core thing. Uh, the last one that I sent was, I'm on a train so I can't answer right now, but I'll call back while I can. And the last text that I got was, you missed a call from me at 13.57 on the 15th of December. This is a free call alert from O2 because I live such an exciting life. Oh, Nerdy Hufflepuff, what a good name, I like that. Hello Nerdy Hufflepuff. Um, you want me to answer questions 17 and 24? No, I'm supposed to be dating vitamin C, but I always forget. Pretty good. We get on fine, swimmingly. Why do people say swimmingly? Like a house on fire? But what's good about a house on fire? We get on very well. Ella Parker has asked for questions 4 and 12. Have I answered 4 already? I feel like I have. No. Probably watching Star Trek Voyager. Because I love it and two of my favourite episodes were on. There are two part ones. The Gear of Health. It, 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 it's very good. I like it. I haven't bought myself any new clothing in the past week. But my mum has bought me a pair of shoes. She doesn't think I know about for Christmas. <laughs> I'm kidding. I was in the room when she got them. She asked me what size and style I wanted. It's just... Well, buying size 15 shoes is a bitch. So my parents, they helped me out there. Xander James has asked for questions 34 and 36. Well, 
I'm afraid I'm not going to be sentimental in such a situation because there are lots of things that mean a lot to me, but most of them are replaceable. I could buy books again if I had to. I would probably come in and save my laptop back because it will have my laptop, my camera, my charger in there. And that's a really good thing to have because the things in there are expensive and can't be so easily replaced as the books. I wish I could save some other things, but it's simply not always a possibility. And with the other stuff, at least I'd still have my work and be able to do my degree and my writing and all of that. Um, tell the truth, I don't believe I've ever tried. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, M, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. Was that right? Lee Laurie has asked for questions 3 and 35, depends who I'm talking to. If it's to my grandmother, then never. And if I'm going to talk to my personal tutor or my doctor, then yes. If it's anything official or important, yes, I practice. Um, well, they'd all be quite upsetting, but it would probably be my little brother. He's only, what, two years, six months and one day younger than me, but he's younger than me. He can't die first. He's not allowed to die first. Because it's the standard sibling thing. We drive each other insane, but if anything were to happen to him, or if someone were to hurt him, that's unacceptable. Only I am allowed to wind him up and hurt him. John's journal, hello Jonathan, has said 15 and 25. Way to go with the heavy questions there. Um, I got out of bed this morning, that's impressive. Getting over my depression, that's the pretty good achievement, and never completely over, but feeling significantly better about myself. A very messy wardrobe. You're not allowed to see it because it's just bad. Though to be fair, most of the stuff with that isn't mine because almost all of my clothes were brought with me to university. And the final person to ask me questions is someone with a name I'm almost certainly going to butcher because I have no idea where it's from so I can only guess as the phonetic system. No. Dosenai Dosenai has asked for questions 1 and 9. Let's go with Neil Gaiman because he's simply someone I have great admiration for. Fantastic writer, very accomplished conversationalist and such a nerd. He'd be rather fun to hang out with. And um, I suppose on a similar note, I'd also like to say Dustin Lance Black, the famous screenwriter and Oscar winner. And also Tom Daly's fiancé, although that's not really pertinent in this situation because Tom Daly's not coming because it's only said two people, though he'd be quite welcome to bring his ridiculously handsome fiancé. Not that he's not good looking either. And as someone who's trying to get into screenwriting, I'd be interested to talk to him and see what he could say on the subject. Pepsi Max, because we have a massive multi pack downstairs and I drink far too much of the stuff. I haven't had any in ages back in Bangor because it's an expense I can't afford, but my parents well, my mum especially really likes it and she stocks up on the way on up to Christmas. So that's it. I hope I've potentially entertained you and informed you. And if not, well, I hope you are well and all that shit. If you enjoyed this, of course, please click like, share and subscribe. And if you want me to elucidate or elaborate, that's a fun word, elucidate, on any of these questions, then let me know in the comments because that's good. Until next time then, tatty vice. Cue out.